Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to talk about indoor bonsai care. Now before I get started, uh, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book and you'll be able to see where to get my bonsai ebook. Now moving on to the topic at hand. Uh, properly caring for your indoor bonsai is essential, but simply following a few growing procedures, you can grow some really beautiful bonsai. If you merely keep these few basic tips in mind, then you will have no problem growing an indoor bonsai. The first thing you should keep in mind when growing an indoor bonsai is choosing the right growing environment. Your bonsai should be kept in a room that is just the right temperature, not too hot, not too cold. In addition, the room should have a source of natural light. You'll want to keep your indoor bonsai in a room with plenty of large windows to allow your tree to receive as much indirect sunlight as possible. Now, some need direct sunlight. Some need very little sunlight or definitely indirect sunlight. Research this uh, for your own case. Now, another important factor to growing an indoor bonsai is using the correct soil. Not only do you want the highest quality soil available, but you also may need to use different types of soil for different bonsai trees, uh, so different species. The best way to determine which soil is right for the type of indoor bonsai uh, that you intend to grow is to visit a gardening store and ask them. You can also look up uh, online guides, especially in times where it may be more difficult or impossible to go to gardening stores. Now make sure that you inform them exactly which type of bonsai uh, you need the soil for. So pretty much tell them the tree type, the tree species. Now, uh, not applying fertilizer correctly can devastate your indoor bonsai. This is a common mistake for beginners. The indoor bonsai needs to be given a water-soluble fertilizer at various times. It is also important that the fertilizer be applied only when the soil is wet. In addition, it is recommended that you use the highest quality fertilizer available. Watering your indoor bonsai correctly is easily one of the most important elements of growing the tree successfully. If you don't water enough, the tree becomes dehydrated and will die. Watering too much drowns the tree and that will uh, result in a similar um, you know, consequence, death. A good rule to follow when watering your indoor bonsai is to Wait until the top soil begin, uh, begins to dry out, but is not completely dry. At that point, you want to add enough water that it saturates the soil and seeps out the bottom. Don't water again until the soil begins to dry out. Pruning the indoor bonsai is also important to successfully grow it. There are two different types of pruning uh, that you'll do to your bonsai. In the spring, the branches of the trees should be trimmed, leaving only the branches you wish to keep. Root pruning should also be done when the roots have bound up in the pot. Uh, once you've learned the basics of caring for an indoor bonsai, you will find these wonderful uh, you will find that these are wonderful plants for your home. So that's all for today. I'll be making dozens of more videos and make sure you check out the link above. See you in the next video.